Because over here we're organizing the front hall for fall with Sarah Dunn. Hey. I'm so happy you're here. You brought all of your pretty with you. Listen, let's talk about this. Why is now the right time to start reorganizing the front hall? Well, this is the time of year that everyone's, whether we want to know about it or not, back to school, back to work, back to activities. And no space works harder in your house than your entranceway because when people come in the door, we all know that's where everything gets dumped. Yes. Right? So if we organize it, hopefully that makes our mornings and our days run a little bit more smoothly. Yeah, that's what we would like. Because yeah. when you come into my house, it's basically shoes, 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 <laughs> shoes, coats. Like you are like attacked in the front entryway. So I would love to have this space. I notice you've got a bench here, yeah. and I want to talk a little bit about having a place to sit. How important is that? I think it's really important. You know, it's a place, obviously, to sit and put your shoes on, or in my case, struggle to take your rubber boots off, yeah. which I always get stuck <laughs> in for some reason every time I wear them. You know, if you're tying your kids' shoes, it's a great spot for them to sit as well. Yeah. And I know we have smaller spaces, some of us, so it doesn't need to be a bench. It can just be a small stool or a narrow chair, mm -hmm. just somewhere for people to sit to get organized and get ready. 1,000%. I love the hooks. I want to talk about how yeah. you can make sure your hooks don't get in the way. Well, I like having them again over your seating space and you want mm -hmm. them high enough so the jackets aren't going to be brushing the seating surface, obviously, right? Yeah. But in my house, the hooks are not for the family, they're right. for the guests. So I like to have them look pretty. You could put flowers, you could hang a piece of art or something. But I mean, a lot of our closets are so small, by the time you put everyone's jackets, coats, everything in there, there's no room for guests. Yeah. So it's nice to have those extra hooks there just in case, right? And then when you're thinking about kids, so when my kids were smaller than me, which they are all towering over me they now. They are so tall, your boys. It's my ridiculous. goodness. I know. It's lovely, though. I know. That's but nice. when they were little, yeah. I used to have hooks on the inside of the closet doors, just something That's I would adhere at their height. So they could put their own bags away. They could put yeah. their own jackets away, that sort of thing. But mm -hmm. this is another really great solution, too. I love this vertical hook, almost like a tree. And, you know, the little ones in the family get the, the lower hooks. And then the older you are, the higher your hooks. And then another thing I like to do is have a basket in the entranceway. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't even want to think about this, but winter is coming. Mm. So in our house, I have a basket by the door, and that's where I put all the hats, mittens, scarves, everything, so people can just grab it and go without having to try to search all over the place for it. Yes. So it's really, really simple. That's very smart. That in my house would have everything in it, though. Yes. There'll be bananas, <laughs> lunch boxes, <laughs> like permission forms crumpled up. There's been some basketballs. It's a catch-all, yeah, catch our... right? Oh, for sure. Okay, let's talk about closet organization. So okay. if you were lucky enough to have a closet in your uh, in your front hall how do you make sure it's not like exploding yeah so let's open it up and let's, let's take make a look sure okay. it's not exploding <laughs> it better it not exploding? be um, all right oh, so it's beautiful right? oh, this is goals this is fun so of course we don't have an entranceway in the studio so I picked this up from Ikea along with all the furniture and it's got some really great elements that you can apply to any closet you may have at home yes so first let's talk about hanging uh, I really like to use wood hangers, mm -hmm. specifically wood coat hangers. So you can see it's got a wider edge on yeah. both sides, and that's so that the shoulders of your coats will sit really snugly on there, and they'll also be able to bear the weight of your heavier coats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then use that vertical storage. So right by you, Tracy, I've got... I love this. Isn't that cool? Yes. So it just Velcros onto your bar, and you can put baseball hats. We have so many baseball hats in our so house. So do we. So you can put hats. Uh, small handbags, your reusable grocery bags. You could assign one to every member of the family and they can put whatever they need to get out the door every day. Yes. Sunglasses, glasses, whatever. And it's just a really smart use of your space. That is so smart. And then you've also used this space brilliantly as yeah. well. So you've got everything you need. You're thinking of the function of the house. 100%. And I know, again, a lot of home closets don't have this, but you can get modular systems for your closet and, and yeah. put shelves on the lower area. On the top one, I like to have a little tray. This is really great to put your keys, your sunglasses, everything you need to grab to go out the door. And I like to shop for them. Well, here's a little tip for you. Yeah. At, um, in the bathroom section of a store because they're very inexpensive. Oh. And pretty. Oh, the bathroom stuff is obviously. gorgeous. Yeah, yeah exactly. Obviously. Exactly. And then storage bins. What yep. I love about these ones is you don't have to pull them out all the way. They're Ooh. hinged on the top. So you can get what you need without having to lug it out all the way every very time. Very good. Yeah. And then what about that storage uh, underneath there? Okay, so let's talk shoes. Yeah. So personally, I know a lot of people may not like this, but um, <laughs> I think you should only have the shoes that you wear on a daily basis in the entrance hallway, especially if you have a lot of people in your house, right? Yes. And um, my family's feet are like size 12 and up. They're it's massive. all boys, right. except for you. So right. the shoes are like the whole entrance. They're way. massive. Yeah, they're so massive. just the ones you wear all the time go there. And then the rest of them, I like to use these storage bins. I have them in my closet upstairs. You can see what's inside. They just oh, Velcro smart. shut. And that's where you put your shoes in the rest of the house, wherever you have space, under your yeah. bed, in your laundry room. Yes. Whatever works for you. Whatever. For me, it's the storage area in the basement. This yeah. is beautiful. It is perfect. I love it. Sarah, you always do such a great job. And she's going to be back a bit later to organize. 
uh, a little bit more. 